Biscuits! Right. What of a one? What of a one? What of a one? What of a one? <laughs> right. We'll go to live, live room cam. Go to room cam. All right. Hang on a minute. What of a one? What of a one? Oh. Oh. What's happening? Oh. Hey. What of a one? Oh. Hey. Yay! Ten pounds of one. Ten pounds. Oh, I'm dead. Ah, well, looks like the British government is here. <sighs> oh, I love a bit of politics. There we go. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <sighs> right. OK, let's choose a camera, buddy. <clears throat> right, welcome everybody. I hope you like our little topical intro there. We've got an amazing hour or so of painting for you. Look what's behind me. Oh, my goodness. You've got a very short time to make sure you're comfortable. You sat down, you've got your typing fingers ready. If you're eating pizza, drinking coffee or whatever it is you're doing, then you are in for a truly spectacular event. But right now, we're just going to run the titles. <laughs> Yay! We are back in the room. Welcome, 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 everybody. And to our friends who have just joined us on Instagram. Are you a bit wonky? Let's sort you out. There you go. Uh, hello, everybody. I hope you're doing really, really well. Very good spirits here in Stroud in the UK, even though brrr, it's very, very cold. Aidy's nose is even tingling, so it could be that snow's on its way, but that doesn't mean we can't have a fantastic time here. We've got warmth in our hearts. We're about to get going on something very, very special behind me. Let me explain what's going on in just a few seconds. We know that cameras are working, but we'll just do a quick systems check anyway, because it's it's what we do here. Corner cam is great. Uh, Rome cam, of course. We know Rome cam is fine because we've just used that, haven't we, mate? Of course we have. Uh, let's choose another one there, buddy. Which one are we going to have? Let's go overhead. I'll walk, walk Rome over here. Look, so you can see what's going on. I'm going to explain this to you in just a moment. So pay attention. And... Kaboom, PTZ over in the corner. Uh, Instagram, you won't see this because you're not watching on YouTube, which is fine. If you do want to watch, hit the link in my bio and head for live painting. And you can watch the full four camera high definition experience in glorious Technicolor. And uh, we hope to see you there. Please. Oh, there we go. We go we're sliding backwards and forwards. Uh, please get involved in the chat. We'd love to hear from you. We're going to be... Uh, chatting to you all a little bit later on but of course we want to get some painting done first and this week we are doing metallic week i can barely and scarcely contain my joy i'm going to show you those amazing colors very very shortly i'm going to get my gloves on and i'm going to explain exactly what this contraption is behind me Conceived and designed a built-in house by AD, who's uh, probably, if I ask him, going to come online and uh, just say hello, because he's in control, pressing all the buttons. Hello, hello. Yeah, mm. I'm not sure whether you enjoyed our slightly political thing, but that's pretty much about what it's like these days. Uh, in actual fact, if I'd have put 10 in Ed's hand, he'd have had to have got some more change out of his pocket, I think. <laughs> that's about how it feels, anyway. Marvellous. If you can end the poll, buddy, so I can see the comments, that would be great. Thanks. Right, so we just did that poll. 22 votes, yeah. And what was the... Uh, I did say biscuits as my first word. 59 said yes, and 40 said no. Right, well, anyway, there you go. Right, folks, okay. Uh, let's choose a camera when you're ready, buddy, and I'll talk everybody through what's going to happen this evening and what this is behind me. In fact, I tell you what, when you have a mo, let's get on to Rome Cam. Hello, everybody on Instagram. I'm going to talk you through exactly what's going on now. Right. 
Okay, so what we've got here, we've got the pan, tilt and spin table. I'm going to show you how that works in just a second. It's a contraption. It looks like some medieval device of torture. But I can assure you, it's for all things good. And we've got a very thick piece of polycarbonate sheeting. And a 170 centimeter square piece of canvas that's on there, which will have a finished painting size of 150 centimeters squared. No idea what that is in inches. Uh, anyway, on the bottom as well, you might like to know, folks, as we have a little look, there is a canvas. So guess what? The painting that drips is going to be caught on this canvas. So... So we're literally going to get two for the price of one. <laughs> it's your two for one here at Suarez HQ. Let's pop that back on the stand. Maybe we'll go and choose us another camera to have a look at. So that is what is happening. Thank you all of you for joining us so far this evening. Now I'm going to spin this around. As he, hello. And I'm going to show you what's going on. So look. Yeah, so we can rotate. So imagine that on a diamond. That's what we're going to do. For those of you who've seen this before, I know you know this is a pretty cool thing. We do some amazing paintings on this. All kinds of different things we've done on this over the years. Uh, we can also, as it just finds itself, oh, bye, okay, see you then, off you go. Right, so we can also uh, flatten it out. Okay, so we can tilt it as well, which is really cool, and we can do the same on there. These are not high speed spins, folks, um, but it gives me the chance to change the angles, change the flow rates, change the way that the paint behaves and most importantly catch it if it falls on the floor which it might very well do you can tell we haven't got that quite center oh okay easy tiger it's quite off center mate yeah right it's fine it's fine right let's see if i can just that's ah, all right mate don't worry doesn't matter doesn't matter let's just get that locked off okay so i've got me i've got me jim there we go that's fine it's not going anywhere now right okay <laughs> that was fun that was fun wasn't it okay right let's get the paints out we're using metallics this week i've had some metallics made for me so we're going to bang those bad boys out um right okay let's not have the green bolting right then who can guess what the first color is going to be i wonder now i will line these up on the bench because there's no point trying to choose a color that isn't in this little selection here but we do have eight i think there's eight to choose from and there are some pretty spectacular shades here and they are metallic we put a post out earlier on in the week uh when we put a spotlight on these and they do shimmer and sheen incredibly well i'm probably going to be adding to these as well but for now i just want to get the tins open and show you at least what the metallic element is going to look like now we've got some very nice purples in here, haven't we, buddy? Your favourite colour? Purple. Yes. Purple. Yeah, we've got lots of purple. Purple, 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 purple. So, so you want some orange then, do you, mate? Okay, that's fine. Right. Yes, please. <laughs> I haven't got any metallic orange. Not today. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Right, so... We're going to be using some gold and some copper, of course we are, but we are going to make this a really quite a, hopefully, a standout piece. And even though I've conceived it inside my head, these things always go a little bit differently to how you planned. So I think then we'll get the first load of paint on and we'll see what happens. Now I'm tempted to, hmm, do I do it flat or do I pour it on from here? No, let's do it flat. Yes, correct, yeah. Uh, that's all right, I'll, I'll do it manually. Hades just chatting to me about the fact it's not quite square. It'll be fine, buddy, don't worry. I, I, I got this. Right, okay, dude, so we're on overhead. You got that shot okay, mate? Right, we're going in with some purple. Right, now we're going in with our... Second purple. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we're going. There's not a lot of space to move in here, uh, but that's okay. Right. So let me just get that round a little bit. 
Oh, right then, Insta. Got to move you guys around, obviously, because you need to see what's going on. I've tried to raise you quite high tonight. Let's pop you there. Sorry, I meant to... Right, let's get you up. So you can hopefully... That's as tall as the tripod goes. Lovely friends of Instagram, so... Let's see how we get on with that. You're just going to see me poking around the back of the contraption here. Thank you again all for being with us. We really do appreciate it. This is a marine version. And these are just... These metallics are absolutely sensational. They, they do have a premium in terms of their cost. So it's not something we can do all the time. But my goodness me, they are pretty awesome, I must admit. So we're going to add some white in here. I want to try and make this quite light, even though it's going to be one of these multicolours with some gorgeous tones. Got to still be aware, this is a painting that I'm going to have to keep fairly light. I'm going to put one skadoosh there. I'm going to send one down the middle. I'm going to put one there. You can see, you can see where I'm at with the colours, can't you? Oh yeah. Let's start layering up the first ones. they look pretty nice. Uh, should we grab a bit of copper? I think let's put a bit of copper. Should we do it, buddy? Should we pop some copper in? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right. So now I'm going to just pop in a little drop of red. Now this red has got a very, very small metallic flake in it, like they all have. I can't really see it this way. You probably won't be able to see it on the cameras, but we're going to pop it on anyway. Now I can see the copper. Hey dude, can you see what's happening inside the copper? Check it out. Right, let me come in front because I want to show everyone on Instagram. Right, okay, let's see if I can show you guys what's happening over there. So I'm just applying the paint at the moment. And just in that cup, it's all... Oh, I, don't know, I can't zoom in. There, you can just see it falling from the inside to the bottom. And when I take that off, it's almost going to be like one of these acrylic pouring videos. And uh, you're going to see all that paint suddenly come off. So this is where it's going to start to get a little bit dicey now. And I've got a blue I need to put in, but I'll do this. Yeah, so I'll, you let me know when I can take it off. Right, you're on it. So I'm going to lift it off, buddy, all right? Here we go. Here we go. What's going to happen? Oh, <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to spread that out because that's literally not going to move anywhere. Now, look, I got a new tool, man. Check my tool out. What is this, Ed? What are you treating us to? A cake spatula for icing. Oh, yeah. We don't ice cakes here. We paint. Right. OK, we still got on the camera. Ice paintings. It's not like a like a midget gem, but just a big one. Right, we're ready, mate. Oh, this is what you want. Get us some of that, Ed. Oh man. Let's bring some this way. Oh, let's skadoosh that bad boy all the way through. That ain't gonna go anywhere. That's as thick as treacle, man. Okay, nice. That's me. That's me. That's that done. <laughs> Right, okay, we're going to give that just a little tinkle of thinners, because we need that to start moving. Okay, and we're going to see what happens. All right. Let me know who else is crazy enough to try this on a Wednesday, anywhere on the internet. Right, we're going to tip it, we're going to tip it, let's see what happens. I'm going to hold on to it. Good question, Zane Taylor, thank you very much for that. The base coat down here is wet deliberately so there we go folks the first tip of the night now this could be a race couldn't it to see which gets where first <laughs> i'm looking now for the paint to start obviously start moving down and as the shapes begin to form we'll decide where it has to go next now, this is where it starts to get extremely subtle and quite terrifyingly uh tense but that is because as the paint is now starting to thin out it starts its curing process the purple's gonna win <laughs> the purple's definitely gonna win down there so at all stages now i'm while i'm just gabbing away i'm continually monitoring in my head what needs to go where what's dripping off what isn't dripping off all that kind of thing all this is going through my head with an eye on 
Okay, well at the moment it's doing what it's doing, but what will happen when XYZ happens? So, to kind of preempt that, I'm going to mess things up a little bit. So let's give, let's do that. And uh, let's see if I can do that on the other side. Got metallic blue to go on as well. That's going to be exciting. I can't wait for that. In fact, I think I might. Should we just shove a bit on now? Yeah, let's let's stick a bit on. Let's see let's see what let's see what happens, eh? Let's stick some there. Look. Oh, that's a big blob. Let's stick some of that there. We don't like to waste it. There we go. That's going to look pretty sensational. Remember, folks, we can turn this around. There's a purple I want to use there, and there's a light blue here. Uh, <clears throat> so that's fine. I'm just trying to find the Suarez blue because we're going to get some of that on as well. Early stages now. Look, it's 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 one of those races that you yeah, kind of have to be quite patient with. So we're going to just drop a little a little blue down there. Look, let's get some on. Let's see where that takes us, shall we? Give that a little spray. Be quite careful about how much I spray here. Oh, we got a drop dribbling on the floor. Excellent. I'll show you that on Rome Cam as and when. We're going to try and encourage this now to start moving. One of the things with the metallics is they're a lot thicker. So you have to kind of coax them down. So the thinners will start naturally working with that. Now, uh, that's quite interesting. Yeah, now we're starting to get a green coming out because we're getting the blue mixing. Which is fine. So I think, right, now we've got one pool on the floor. Some are starting to move. Let's give the tails a little soak there. Keep the tails moving, because this is where the paint's going to start drying, if we're not careful. I'm going to give that... An, oh, there's a per there's a lilac on its way. Talking of lilac, we need the lilac out here. Okay, that's good. Keeping my eyes on that red. The red really, really needs to be kind of a supporting act. I don't want it to take over too much, but this is the first one. Is anything else going to come off and hit the floor for now? It's thinking about it. So I think what we'll do, buddy, I'm going to straighten him out again. Okay, right. Yeah, so I'm going to rotate that because I know where I'm going to go next. And we're going to leave that just to calm itself down for a minute. Let's do some hellos. Right. Who have we got? Okay, right, let's go back up to the top. Right, so Insta, I'm going to leave you just to look at that for a second. Back to you guys in a minute. Uh, who was uh, Funny Fox is first through the door. Hello, Ed and Adi and the Suarezians. Uh, oh, it's Pizza Night in the Funny Fox house. Excellent. Zane said a big Kiora from Dad Under, mate. G'day, he's just been down to the beach and um, he's had a good morning swim. Made some eggs and coffee and breakfast. Uh, Thursday morning's a bonza. Thanks, mate, for being here. Uh, Zane is, of course, in Thursday on the other side of the world. Robert Mungin, good day to you. And Henry and Denise, what a pleasure, as it is Lynn and Yona and Jackie in Canada. And uh, we've also got Thomas H. from Germany. Guten Tag, Thomas. And we have Elaine and Joseph. Nice to see you both. The time for art. Hello, Geraldine. Uh, from sunny Florida. Fantastic. Uh, did I say hello to Eleanor? If not, hello, Eleanor. Uh, Jairo Rodriguez, uh, emocionante, otro de para hacerate. Gracias. Thank you very much, uh, Jairo. I hope I've said that correctly. Uh, Paula, we started with biscuits mentioned and now I'm hungry. It's all about the cheese, Paula. You know that. Great to see you here too. V is also here. Hello, hello, hello. Shelly Foley Art and Lucia and Sean Collins. Just joined Patreon. I know, Sean, thank you. It's just pinged up on my phone. Thank you so much. We're going to talk a little bit about Patreon in about 15 minutes' time. But thank you very much indeed. I will be sending you a nice personal message over the next 24 hours. Thank you for doing that. And great to see you on the chat as well. Uh, you are a beacon. Well, <laughs> thank you very much. Not one that I hope is on fire. Uh, keep your eyes out on social media for that. We set fire to something yesterday. Uh, Carla, well, who bring it? Fantastic. And uh, we got Nelson, Holla Nelson, Michelle Baldwin. Hello to you too. Who else have we got? CE says so a high and Ed and Eddie with a high fives. Um, uh, Hero said, uh, exciting. Another day to make art. So we've translated that. Fantastic. Kevin Kemble, it's always good to see you here. Hello, Kevin. Thank you for being here. Nancy S. Hi, guys. And we've also got lots of people joining in. John Bowyer. 
Uh, Oriental characters, delicious, fantastic. Uh, Billy Fox liking the colours. Albert Tatlock, good evening. And uh, have I missed anyone? No, I don't think so. Annette, hello Annette, great to see you here. Uh, Tamiko has made it, and Hunter Young has also made it. Fantastic, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, right, Instagram, while I've been chatting away to everybody on YouTube, things have been happening. Look what's happening on the canvas. We need to get some more colours on there. So now uh, we go on to overhead. You can see what's going on. Um, oh, Tamiko, have you got to go? Uh, not sure. I hope everything's all right, Tamika. Um, right. So, let's assess where we're at. Let's get some more colours on. Now, I'm going to open the lilac. <clears throat> Let me uh, jibber-jabber. Get some lilac on. Right, I, I can't be afraid now, because we need to get stuff on the bottom. You know, this is what you signed up for. So, we're on overhead, buddy, yeah? Okay, Are you? I hope you're ready for this. Right, three, two, one... There we go. Right, that's lilac. Let's get some... Oh, I've got this gorgeous purple here. Let's see if I can go from the other side. Oh dear, this, is, this isn't going to end well. No, that's actually all right. There we go. Perfectio. Should we show you? Oh, that is good. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? There you go. How's that? Look, isn't that gorgeous? Look, this is why we love metallic purple. Stick <gasps> oh. Right, okay, we did get some blue in. There isn't enough, so I'm going to add the blue in here. Okay, we don't care now. It's all happening. It's all happening, folks. We need some more white. So we're going to get one in. Let's get some up here. Oh, nice, yeah. Let's not be scared. The paint is our friends. Oh, yeah. And we need plenty to go down below. In fact, let's just get it all on. It's the colour mood I'm in. All right. Shall we have some gold? Shall we have some gold? Some water down gold there I can use from uh, another session. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Right. Okay. Now, I also need... <laughs> Some, some green. This is Piaggio green, or Piaggio Grigio, as I should call it. As I should, as I should call it. And um, this is a colour used by the Italian scooter company, which now I think make tuk-tuks primarily. Um, those kind of small scooter-based delivery vehicles. This is Piaggio Verde. So when I say it's the same colour they use on their scooters, I'm not kidding. So we're going to get some weave through there. I've got a feeling this is going to start to look pretty epic as we, as we move on. And some through there. Ah, uh, sorry to hear that, Tomiko. Yeah, still here. I'm not feeling great. Okay. So we've got a, a, a slight mixture of italics now. I've used all but one of the reds, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. But I do want to use some more of this blue. So I'm going to bring this in down here, look. Across and we'll do the same Whoa. actually yeah i could do uh, maybe if i do that oh yeah yeah oh yeah oh yeah look at that nice all right okay this is costing me costing me a small fortune right so we're going to get this to move and uh, skadoosh around a little bit Literally, don't care tonight. It's all, it's all happening. It's all happening. Right, here we go, folks. Now, there's a lot more volume of paint on here, so we're going to see what we can capture down below. So we're prob I'm probably going to move it... Yeah, we'll keep it linear, just for now. Oh, it's all going. It's all going. There it is. There it is. Right. Get my locker. Lock it all off. Here we go. Can we see that? Here it goes. Doesn't care. It's off. Tighten that up. And I'm going to have to hold it here. Right. So whilst I've got the one down below, of course, which is important, I'm also kind of thinking um, about what's going to happen on the bottom one and my angles as well. So um, I'm going to get this to move down a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? And then I'm going to kind of go across ways, if that, if that makes sense. 
Uh, so I'm just looking now at the points at which I'm going to have to start moving now. Have we got... It's almost ready to come off the bottom, folks. Here it is. Here it is. I'm going to keep hold of this for now because it's not quite centred. Oh, yeah, it's starting to go, mate. It's starting to go. There we are. Through the middle. Now we've got uh, all that big cross-section over there. With the Piaggio green going in. I'm going to have to get some more gold. Definitely get some more gold going in this. But it is coming off. That's what we want. We want the pools to form. Now I've got to try and decide when to turn. Right, okay. I think that time is now. Here we go. Not afraid. Just make sure it clears the top. It's very close to the top. Let's see what's go where it's going to go now. We've got an arc down the bottom, folks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we go. Let's mess this up. Let's properly mess this up. All right. Okay. Yeah, boy. I'm digging that. Okay, let's... We'll, we're going to let... No, I'm going to go round, actually. Let's... Let me keep on going. Can I get past the top? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And it's hold... Are we holding? I think we're holding. The whole thing is going. We are holding. Let's now see. Oh, look at that arc. Oh, God, I was not expecting that. I can always move what's down below so here it comes again look this is the side that's going to move first the whole painting is moving that is awesome look at this edge going look we, we're starting to get some sweeps and arcs can you see how cool this technique is right okay oh man this i think it's going to look this is going to be epic by the time we're finished it's going to need a little bit of warmth in it but that's fine yes it's coming off we've got the arc forming no now we've got a line forming I might have to turn it again, buddy. Just gently, though. Okay, so let's keep let's see if we can keep those arcs going. This is very, very interesting. I don't think I've ever done anything like this before. Hi, Anne. How you doing? Nice to see you here. This is quite spooky to stand in front of, I tell you. This is so weird. Right, I'm going to move this back. Right, so on the floor. Wow, 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 wow. This is incredible. I'm going to create a second line. There we go. So I've just pulled it back slightly. Well, oh, how are we doing so far? I think we're doing pretty good, aren't we? I'm going to keep moving. Yes, it is purple rain, isn't it, Denise? Look, we're starting to get those arcs coming from the top. It's like a weather map, isn't it? Wow. So let's, let's keep that static. I'm having to keep it fairly moving fairly rapidly so we can kind of maintain some of these incredible shapes that's going on. And we are going to have to do some work in some of the other places. I'm going to have to keep going, mate, all right? If I go quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. Now, oh yeah, look at the zigzag up there moving. Oh, this is this is good. This is good. Now, of course, as I start to rotate, continue this rotate, that on that side is going to stop arcing and move the other way. So we've got so many different dynamics of physics working, literally all at the same time. Now, if I go backwards, I'm going to get the arc the other way. So what I'm tempted to do is capture the second arc on this side. So let me just leave that for a second. I can't really take my hands off it. All oh, the red's gone. You see that? And the red's... <laughs> when you put red on them, the red has literally disappeared. So is most of that blue. But that's fine, because we're going to tease some of that out. Now we're getting another line, look. So I'm going to move this carefully. Oh, I like what's happening down below. I am liking that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Capturing, capturing. This is it. This is good. So now let's see how much of this paint starts to move. These edges look fantastic. I'm super excited. I hope everyone's enjoying this. Please, 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 folks, 
give us some nice thumbs up whatever device you're watching on because we'd love that we would love some thumbs up yeah so just hit that thumbs up button you don't need to pop an emoji on although that's always nice but actually on the youtube player or indeed on instagram the heart emojis will be amazing please do show your appreciation for what we're doing here and that will be amazing give us some nice big thumbs up i can't look at the stats as to how many of you are watching but i know there's a lot of you here for which we are eternally grateful we are doing some fantastic things there's 77 of you live right now on youtube and only 30 likes so let's hit, hit those and like those thumbs up for me guys that would be amazing now look oh what's happening on the bottom is just ridiculous so what i'm going to do now i think because i want paint to go over that way so do i move the bottom or not now i've got to figure out what's happening on the bottom because the bottom's starting to turn out absolutely unbelievable i'm tempted now just to stop this for a minute Although, you can see what's happening on this side. It's all moving. We are getting some really, really interesting shapes. So do I quickly move the canvas, the bottom canvas around? I suppose that actually would be the sensible thing to do. Could I do that? Oh my word, I don't know. I don't even know if I could. I don't even know if I should. I've got about 30 seconds tense. Try and get this back in the right place without messing it up. Come on, son, you can do it. Do this. Believe. Mm. Now you're in me. <laughs> Do all me. I'm huffing and puffing, but trust me, I think it's worth it. <laughs> wow, this is liquid rain. It really is, guys. <laughs> it is purple rain, you're right. We're not done yet. Just got to figure out the best way to place this before I have to rotate it again. So now I'm trying to gauge where it started and where it stopped. Right, okay, I'm going to go back horizontal again, mate. Sorry. Okay. Right. Well, this is interesting, right? There's paint everywhere. This is enough. Right, I'm going to show you what's happening on the floor in just a second. What do we think of that, folks? I'm pretty excited by that. Right, let's just get some more gloves on. Aerobic painting with Suarez, says Robert <laughs> Jr. Hello, Robert. Thank you for being here. <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, Nancy likes the painting. The tilt is working well. Mission Impossible from Folly Fox. It is a bit like that. Uh, Denise, uh, oh, this high cookie monster. Um, and Henry, haven't seen way. Oh, I don't know what that is. Ah, fairy tale. Oh, fairy tale Jedi FTJ. What a great handle. Hi, all. My son uh, uh, is at Aiden, uh, and I tuned in on a big screen TV. So little ladies, hey, oh, little lady says hi from Florida. Oh, let's go corner cam for a second, mate. Hi, little lady. We've got a big AD out there. And now we've got hello, a little lady. Hello, little lady. It's big AD here. Hi. Oh, we've got a new we got a new friend. That's fantastic. Hello, little lady. And hello to you as well. Uh, Fairy Tale Jedi. Great to see you guys here. I hope, hope life is treating you well. Uh fantastic. Uh right, Denise is loving it and got the right colour emojis as well. Now let's have a Rome cam look. Insta. I'm gonna give you a look down there at what's going on there. Look. Uh Les Knight says wild. Hiya, Les. Right, let's go. Let's go bottom first. Hello, you cheeky thing. What's going on here? Make sure I don't get drips on my head. Oh, oh, have we have we just done that? I rather think we have. Well, 
things are happening, folks. I've got to try and fill this centre bit up now. But look at that. Would you believe it? I would never have expected something like that to come out. So I think the next series of turns, we're going to have to try and fill that up with an arc. Goodness knows how I'm going to do that. Haven't got a clue, but oh my goodness. Hold on to your dangly bits. What's going on here? I don't really know where to start because things are changing so very quickly here. Let's see if I can give you... Here you go, look. Let's have a look at this coastline. It is 80 centimetres like an Icelandic coastline. Isn't that absolutely exquisite? And this is the kind of thing you can do. I want to get more of this blue on because that is absolutely mind-blowing. I'm also mindful of my corners. And now, having done what we've got down on the floor, I'm now trying to work out, while I'm speaking and listening to AD at the same time, how on earth I'm going to get that to do what I want to do down below. So, uh, Insta, I promised you, a quick look. So let's have a little look. Let's just take a breather for a second, folks. This is what's going on over here. Hi, Philip, uh, Daniel, Felix, Abel. This is very nice of you guys to be here. Remember, you can see the full four camera high definition stream live on YouTube as well, simultaneously. Hit the link in my bio here on Instagram and you can watch it straight away. You don't even have to go on to YouTube to watch it. That's how good we are. But look what's happening down here. Oh, I say. Oh, I say things are definitely going on where we're capturing the drips. Two for the price of one. Uh, your wedding. Oh, is that your wedding? Ses your wedding ST. And uh, Tatiana have joined. Hello. Thank you for being here, folks. Right. This is. Oh, thank you for the hearts. As well. <laughs> this is where we're at so far. We're going to press on. I hope you're all enjoying this. Uh, little lady fancies. Brigade. Oh, bless you. <laughs> well, good for you it's a great color little lady all right um yeah 80 it must be an 80 thing if you're called 80 you must love purple so looking at the corners if you were to tilt it down on the corners put some paint to the corners could you fill that void with it on a certain angle Coming off quite quickly on the corners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stay on the line, mate. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. So I'm going to go gold. I'm going to kind of go up a little bit and around because I want that to feature. But yeah, I think this is hopefully yeah. going to pull up That's some it. from here. And, and then, I can get a, a gold line yeah, coming. And I'm going to go the opposite way and see if I can get an arc of gold going so across it. depending on the depth of your angle is you should be able to point that in there. Somewhere. Yes, yes. Yeah, I agree. I agree, mate. So um, that's the plan. That's the plan, Stan. <laughs> I'm going to do the opposing corner with red because I want to bring some red into this area. So I'm going to do this. But this is into the corner going down. Let's see if we can, we can hey, kind of tease that. Don't put too much on that purple, you know. <laughs> and I also need to put some drizzles of this blue and I need to go through the centre. Some what? Blue. No. What did you say before that? Purple. No. Red. Drizzles. So what did you say? <laughs> I did say drizzles. Yeah. No, I like... <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> I like this colour. It's one of my favourite ones, so I'm going to put some on. Right, here we go. Now, this will hopefully disappear. If it doesn't, I'm in trouble. But it's got such a nice hue, and it's almost got this greeny kind of tinge to it, the way the light catches it. Now, I also, I'm quite confident, I need to get a little drop of, of darkness in here. I believe in the thing, Cody. Sorry. Um, so I need to get a little. Okay, right, here we go then. Here we go. So let's tilt it. The gold. Uh, no, the red. Oh, let's just get it tilted.
Just going nice and steady here, folks. Ah. Trying to now, this is the crucial bit where I'm trying to really balance style, form, what's on the bottom, densities, flow rates. Oh my goodness me, it is literally all happening now. It might not look like it, but it is. Uh, now, uh, okay, I've just got enough time. That's right. So that's fine. That's fine. We're all good. We're all good. Don't panic. Don't panic, Ed. It's going to be okay. Hello, Carl Miles Art. Great to see you here. Uh, right. Let's do around there. That's better. All right. Okay. So I need to pull this out now and try and hit that center point. Okay, all right, uh, let's have a look. What do I need to spray? It's all moving, it's all moving. Uh, that one there. Uh, that there with the gold. The gold's looking nice. I might, I want to get some gold through that center. Right, two seconds, everybody. Right, now this is where I have to make the painting. Okay. Right, well, most of that's going to go. Okay. We need to be careful we don't overwork this now. So let's go back. But I've got the bottom to consider as well. So I'm going to go the opposite way now. Okay. Let's see how we get on with that. Let's get my tilt right. It's a fairly decent tilt. I can see my angle at the bottom. It's going to get down there first. I'm going to hold. And hold. Bear with me, everybody. Bear with me. We're getting a bit, uh, talking a bit airy now. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, don't let me down. Oh, come on, fall off. It's got to go to its lowest point, hasn't it? Nearly there, nearly there. Oh, this is tense. This is very tense. Mind you, it is bringing some of the purple tones out, and I can see everything. See, where's the gold disappeared to? You're like, Ed, dude, you had gold, and it's, ah, it's just coming off now. This is an experiment for us. Never done anything like this really before. Not certainly where we've had such a strong canvas catching the paint at the bottom. So I'm trying to be very, very careful on how we layer this as it moves around. But that, folks, that is all right by me. That's fine. Let him go, Ed. Let him go. We've got an arc, folks. We've got an arc. All right. This is good. This is good. Let's, let's flatten the angle slightly. Corners are there. You might think, oh my goodness me, Ed, what have you done to the red? Don't worry about the red, because I promise you, the red's almost going to disappear. Now, now the interesting thing happens. Look, we've got that, that real kind of place opening up in the center. We've got all these veins of gold starting to appear. And it's almost starting to feel like sort of, it's almost two paintings. So now, let's see, what have we got down the bottom? Well, okay. It has moved, but... We are okay. We are okay. We're going to go gently. He always wants to make a sudden movement and ruin it all. Now, of course, it is going to start to slow down. So now I'm just going to try and be very careful on how we move it and how quickly. I'm tempted to put a big arc of gold in. I would say we'll run a vote, but I'm not sure we're going to have time for that. <laughs> Uh, good question, Robert, asking which uh, painting would be the primary one. Um, well, it would definitely be the top one. And um, really, the secondary one is the one down here, and which is the bonus, if you like. If, if we can get something usable or learn some lessons from this one, I'd be extremely pleased by that. Because, like most things, it's all a learning curve, isn't it? Every time you pick up a tin of paint, it's a learning curve. Uh, and that's what makes us better is by figuring out what works and what doesn't. Right, dude, I'm just going to flatten it for a second. 
Okay. Right, bear with me, folks. This is... Right, I'm going to rotate it back in just a sec, but I need to get into this bit here. Um, still got traces of the Piaggio green, which is great. Uh, there are a couple of areas I just need to spray because I want to tease it a little bit. There's some very, very subtle things starting to happen, which I'm really enjoying. Remember, we started the night. This is all about the metallics. Now, we still do need to get a little drop of purple on in places. So we're going to treat ourselves to that. And then we're going to see how we get on with this now. Paint everywhere, which is what we like. Yes, Lynn, what a good idea. Call the floor painting learning curve. <laughs> Very good. Hey, you're all on fire today. I love it. Fantastic. Right, this is looking good. This is looking good. Let's see where we go from here. So we've moved the canvas on the bottom. I've got a little drop more paint here. Let's see if I can remember where this was. Okay, I'm going to get it that way. And then we're going to go rotate. Let's get that round there because I know which way I want the gold to go. And that's quite interesting so far. Look, you can still see it moving. It's moving quite quickly. I want to try and preserve some of this gold. I'm looking at some of the other paint and it's still starting to move quite quickly. And in other places it's starting to stop. So you can see now what, we go, what we're trying to do now with the, with the red. We'll diffuse that a little bit. And that's fine. Don't mind that at all. Let's bring that round. Let's get the angle a bit more severe. See what happens. So, yeah. So I'm probably going to send the red and gold to a point now. So let's try it there. I might go round again. Oh, okay. Might go round again to spread it out. Right, got it. Okay. Sounds like you're all enjoying the, the process of creating what's on the bottom, which is really nice. Because that really is the bonus, isn't it, here, folks? It's the bonus piece. Trying to just assess what's going on on the top one. Yeah. While Lady changes a battery, I'm going to try and figure out where this needs to go before I level it out. Yeah, you're back in the room, mate. That's good. Gotcha. Now, I'm just watching from the top corner. Hi, Chris. Great to see you here. Thank you for being here. I'm going to give you a proper look at this in close-up in just a short while. We're just getting to that ultra-critical point where I'm going to need to level it off, but I haven't reached that yet, so we're going gently round. You can see, really, we've stopped now with what's going on underneath, but from here, that looks <laughs> that's pretty good. I want to do more of the, under, of the bonus ones on the floor. I'm going to give this a very gentle look. So now, look what we did. We mixed the purple and the gold and the red in the corner the red's now just a real just merely a suggestion rather than an overtake and now I've just got to be really careful as to how the gold moves and all the rest of them there's a lot really starting to to, to sort of settle now so this is just a question of bringing these shapes into some focal points and it's very difficult when you're not using a tool like a brush or a scraper you're just using gravity so now this is completely true folks when I say I am using gravity to paint 
quick question, buddy. Yeah. Are you going to put any of that uh, darker blue on in little little lines, little streaks, little... I was thinking about that, yeah. Cars? Yeah, where this V has kind of opened up. So let's just flatten it out a little bit. Um, uh, somebody, uh, Lynn, said, will you put a small amount of dark in the pale section of the, of the top painting? Bearing in mind, I think you've rotated it since then. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure where that actually would go, but I want to get a few, yeah, the last few veins of this gorgeous uh, blue in and almost let it settle, uh, you know. Um, yeah, let's get, let's get, let's get a couple, one there. Uh, let's get one down this, there, yeah, because I think it'll survive one more turn uh, and then it's, it's there. This coastline's looking pretty unbelievable. Let's stick one through there. Uh, yeah, no, we're here. No, no, I don't like that, mate. I like that just as it is. Or shall I? I mean, it's nice, but oh, what the hell? There you go. There you go. Little, little soups on. See what it does. Now here, here's quite interesting. Let's get one of those on there, and definitely one in there. And then let's do a scoop round there. And I think, I think that's it. Just get a little drop more. The white's the white's pretty. The white's pretty good. Get off my glove, stupid thing. Uh, but this, this one lady gives you a little look at the bottom one. That's it. Okay, right. So things are starting to settle, which is great. There's only going to be a couple of places where I need to spray. Oh my goodness, the bottom one, mate. I can't wait to see that. That is ridiculous. I'm loving, loving, loving that. We're going to give you a proper look at that very, very shortly on the Rome cam. Let's just get these done. I'm just give that a second to work in. We've still got the Piaggio green, which is nice. We've still got that, now that purple, see what it's done now is really open up there. So I've got to decide now which way I'm going. I'm, I think I'm going to say that the bottom one is probably done, but I'm going to keep that just for now because I want to see what's going to come off this. And we're going to give this one more rotate, guys, before we, ah, uh, sugar, before we call it a day, I think. What's going on in this corner? Let's get that sorted out. There we go. Happy days. Right. I'm covered in paint. <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Always, co always covered in paint. Right, see what our angle's like. Right. <clears throat> Gotta tighten the bolt up. Make sure I get my angle right. right that's better. It should hold now. Okay, right, so where am I? I just, just we'll be back at the desk in just a second. Let's just see now how with the slow rotate where I'm going to be with it. I'm going to make sure that purple is, is kind of kept. This is all right so far. And we'll be leaving this horizontal uh, on the canvas to dry. Make sure it's curing. And we'll be having a proper look at that on Friday and and Sean will probably now start to get used to. We're going to give our Patreons the very first look at this on Friday. And then get exclusive access to things before, way before everybody else. Um, uh, so we'll be giving how this dries its first premiere to all of our patrons watching this evening, including you, Sean, who's just joined us as a, as a new patron today. So we'll shoot that video on Friday. If you would like to get in on that action, folks, and you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. Maybe will bring up on the screen for you in a moment. Uh, there's also a link down in the description as well. And if you'd like to find out how to get exclusive updates and also claim your free Suarez painted pile, we'll have a set of 102 exclusively only for our patrons. And you can learn all about that on our Patreon page. And in a very short time window and you could be the recipient of one of those magnificent pieces of artworks which will hopefully show you on the screen any second now just ahead of me showing you how epic this has now become 
So doing the final spin now, while well, Andy shows you our Patreon page on the screen right now. And there's the tiles, as you can see. We've sent a lot out already. There aren't actually that many left, so if you would like to get hold of one, then don't leave it too long, folks. When they're gone, they're gone. We're never doing it again. And don't forget to keep your number handy. There's a number hand etched on the back of every single one, unique to each particular tile. Now, we can't reveal too much at the moment, but I suggest you keep that very, very safe. Anywho, back to the action. Let's level that out. Oh, okay. So I think that's pretty level. Okay, now then. What have we got? Goodness me, there is some stuff going on here. So, let me give myself an opportunity to... Isn't it roughly level? No. Right, and that doesn't look too bad. Looking at the lines. The horizontal lines of the stripes on the outside of the pod, which is my reference point. I'll try and get that roughly straight. Okay, fine, right, okay. Who would like to have a look? Let's give Rome Cam. Uh, Hunter's got his tile and loves it. <laughs> Thank you. Michelle wants to make one like this. I, I, yeah, oh, Opa Schalt YouTube. Guten Abend, Sozamen. Abend to you too. Right, okay, Insta, we'll show you in just a second. Let's go on to Rome Cam and look at the top first, because we need to see what's been going on. Difficult to get you in a proper overhead, but then hopefully AD is going to do that for you. Let's start round here. Uh, this is what's happening, look, look, folks. Things are really starting to, to develop. If there is so much detail in here, it is almost impossible to know where to begin. Uh, but there are so, so many outstanding things starting to happen. I can't even show you how amazing the gold looks. But if we go into the centre, there we go. If I come out and go in... See, look, these are the end elements we put in. Remember, we put the little dribble of white in. Look what's happened to that blue. The blue's been eaten up by everything. Let's come back down here, look, and see. I haven't put any... any uh, I mean, the Piaggio green is in here, but there's no actual green, but we're getting green blues where the paints are all starting to do weird things together. Let's go back over to... Look how the blue has mixed with that gold and produced all these kind of sensational rivulets. We've got sky full of clouds. We've got coastlines. And then that giant wave of that gorgeous metallics through the centre. Look look at that purple. Isn't that gorgeous in swathes? I'd imagine that gold's looking pretty sensational now. This was the red which we've, which we've started now to pull back into the painting. Just this little drop of warmth in the corner. Look, everything's got its got its place let's go round let's have a look from from this side everything is covered in paint me included and then we go and look at some more of the subtlety on the outside we did the gold corner remember yeah and look how that has nicely mixed itself together and it's all a big celebration of all the beautiful metallic purples and lilacs we've got piaggio green we've got almost that so soil and stone rock like center in the in the middle, it's oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I am kind of losing the words to be able to describe it, but it, it's fascinating, it's engaging, it's beautiful, and of course, it is continuing to develop as we speak. Half of me wants to get a scraper and just do a massive thing through the middle, but I know <laughs> that's going to mess things up. Then we come down to the bottom. My goodness me, what a bonus! No, God! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, there, look what we got on the base. Well, what started out as a very quick base coat just before we came on air, we've managed to catch all the drips and dribbles, but look at that. So, if you're happy with the bottom one, buddy, yeah, I'm going to pull do it. me a massive favour. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Pop it on the tripod, pull it out into the light. Right. It's quite dark underneath yeah. the uh, table. Okay, right. Instead, Thank we're you. Just gonna, that's all right, mate. We're going to pull that out. Uh, let's see if we can see that for real, shall we? Here we go. Right, pop a load of that on overhead or wherever you want to do it. Let me straighten it up, mate. That's approximately level, I think. Now, while AD uh, gets that in the view, uh, I am going to try. We'll go back to that in a second. Let's just give you a look until my, my gimbal decides to uh, have a little hissy fit. This is the kind of thing we've got going on. Look, this is what we've been 
tilting and maneuvering. So all the paints are starting to settle now and kind of form their own layers and textures and all that kind of thing. Uh, it's all starting to really develop together now. It looks like something you'd see a photo taken from the International Space Station or something. And there's that blue starting to split open and looking into different, looking into different tones. And we come over here and it's all lilac and blues. And then we hit the Piaggio green on the po coastline. There, look, what a shot. What a shot that is. That's a painting in its own right. But you don't just stop there. You get the whole thing. And that's what we've done in the hour, folks. Looking pretty red hot. Uh, and I think, maybe have you managed to get some shots of what's going on on the underside? I will do. There you go. Look, we've captured that. That's what's come off it, which to me is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm loving that as well. Really, really appeals to me big time. That does two for the price of one. So let's give you a roam cam for everybody watching on YouTube. Oh, sorry. I'll stop that there because we're time lapsing. Now we can see it properly down here. Let's see if I can get down and show you. What's going on? How about that? Oh, who was that who said that? Thank you, Fairy Tale. Fifteen out of ten. Fairy tale Jedi and little little lady, loving it on the big screen. There we go. That's your Rome cam look. Gold is absolutely popping. Something very unusual. Let's see Sit with these speckles here. Let's see if I can show you that catching the light. Isn't that crazy? Let's see the dimples of paint look where it's just hit the surface and gone boom. Look how gorgeously glossy that is, isn't it beautiful? What a lovely combo. Um, right, okay, so... <laughs> Sandy, how dare you fall asleep and miss it all? <laughs> You'll have to watch it on catch-up now. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Uh, wow, okay, well, uh, folks, I'm probably going to leave it there because I don't want to mess it up. I think what we've got here is re two really strong artworks. They've got this this really really great story now behind them, which we've caught live on camera. We've got we've got a, a bonus down here, which is the stuff that was caught, which in itself is just oh, I, I just something about that. I I think that is absolutely extraordinary. I hope you do too, folks. Um, do let me know what you think in the comments. If you are watching this on catch up and you got this far, well done. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please do give us a nice big subscribe. If you haven't done already, folks, don't forget your thumbs up, Jackie Bouvet. <laughs> All right, 69 of you still watching now. Well done for surviving this long. But don't forget, come on, hit that subscribe button, click on your bell icon, because look, when we do this, we don't want you to miss it. We want you to be part of the family. We want you to be part of the chat. This is the whole point. It's about our community. Yeah, I don't care about ad revenues and making a living. This is our community. We do it every week. We lose money every week. But it's you, right? And I'm talking right to you now, whatever device you're watching on. You are the difference and you are what makes this happen every week. Because without you, there's no point. So please give it back to us. Hit the subscribe button. Give us a massive thumbs up. Show us some love on a mi minus two evening when we're frozen solid doing this kind of thing late at night. <laughs> it gives us a little bit of hope <laughs> to carry on and keep doing it, which of course... We are going to do again next week in some way, shape or form. And uh, of course, we've already mentioned our patrons as well. We've been through that. Don't forget to go and give that a check out as well, guys, because that is pretty awesome. Just leaves me to say, just before we say goodbye, go and treat yourself to a bit of merch from the merch shop. Maybe you'll pop that up on the screen now. SuarezLifestyle.com. Dead easy to remember. You can get to that from any of the links down in the description and also from my website, which is SuarezArt.com. Yes, we upgrade and we are now a dot com hurrah we're about to take over the world <laughs> what do you want you want hats we can give you hats you want uh 
Oh, what do you want? A cushion cover. Cushion. Yeah, let's go cushion pillows, cushion covers. There you go, look. We can do gym gear. The gym gear is outstanding. We're shifting a lot. Gym gear, it's just genius stuff. Nothing like it anywhere. It's gorgeous. And so too are the pillows. So too is everything else because, of course, I've designed it. <laughs> so there you go. How good is that, eh? So go treat yourself, folks. Uh, right. Okay. So there we go, folks. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our uh, metallic purple and blue evening we've created the icelandic coastline and also captured something from the deep depths of the ocean down on the bottom however you think it looks like to you and whatever you think of the broadcast tonight uh, one thing is for certain uh, i and myself and Adi are very grateful to you for watching and of course we can't wait to see you next week which we're going to be back again at some point next week and uh, we hope to see you then but on behalf of us both thank you very much for watching like, share and subscribe, run and tell your friends because you never know what is going to pop up and what crazy things are going to attempt next. Thank you everybody, but from a very chilly uh, stroud in the Cotswolds here in the UK, Adi and I are going to sign off for this week. We hope to see you again soon, that's us for one evening. Take care and good evening. <laughs>